Hello everybody, it's Clint, welcome to Sweetcast. <laughs> Sorry it's been a long time since I've made a video. I've been fulfilling the campaign and it's been taking, it, it, it's just been so much longer this time because I just haven't had as much time to completely dedicate to it. I'd love to just take two days off uh, and like wrap it up or close to wrap it up, um, but that's not gonna happen in the foreseeable future. So in the meantime, shipping books out every single day. Uh, obviously I had to wait for the bigger boxes to come here they're here uh and so that's good news so what i want to talk about we're gonna be looking at blood realm volume one here when i talk about this this is the giant so you get 80 pages of story for 4.99 great price uh and i have a signed version from rob geronimo and i know he's gonna be launching soon and this is really related to what i'm going to talk about here but he will be launching this soon on uh, Indiegogo, not this, but the next volume uh, of Blood Realm uh, is my understanding. So I'm looking forward to that because uh, this has been a really entertaining uh, read generally. So I'm going to flip through this. Anyway, so I've had this question a few times. I've seen it around, and that is to work in comics, do you have to have a group? Like, do you have to be on the in crowd? Now, I know immediately there are many people that are going to jump to, oh, you mean Comicscape? Well, no, that's not exactly what I mean. I mean, more specifically, do you need to be in a group? Um, so, for example, I consider myself in a few groups, or maybe you could call it a clique. Uh, you guys will see that I, I hang out with Eric Weathers uh, on streams and in person. I did hang out with him in person once. That was cool. Eric Weathers, Von Klaus, uh, you know, Rob, uh, the Australian Rob, Rob Arnold, um, Michael Bancroft a bit, especially more recently. Um, you could probably extend that out a bit as well. But beyond that, I also have a pool of artists that I tend to pull from and work from. Matt Weldon always does a fantastic job on covers. And so I end up going with Matt Weldon. I just want to look through some of this art. I'm going to skip ahead some more just in case you you know, don't want to be spoiled. Uh, but yeah, so you sort of have this group. Beyond that, another group would be the Alterna crew that I uh, will not only stream with, but, you know, we talk behind the scenes in, uh, you know, behind the scenes. We talk and, and uh, you know, all comic stuff and how can we promote this next campaign, all that kind of jazz. And that is helpful uh, in a lot of ways. And so I guess the question is, do you need a group? In the mainstream industry, I cannot tell you <laughs> how insane it is. Uh, Vidayala, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying her name correctly, but that uh, there is a literal cult, uh, a cult of personality surrounding Vidayala that I did not realize existed before uh, to the extent that it does. It is in sane and why is that because a lot of people believe that uh, vidala is going to get them into comics that you're going to get some kind of favors because of that and you might be right <laughs> the more that i think about it you might absolutely be right and see that um you know being being attached to a smaller click is going to get you some serious benefits uh like that really cool dragon by the way um so so there are elements of that, but do you need it? Um, yes, I think you do, actually. Um, and I don't think that the, a, a group like that necessarily means that you um, need, you got to hurry and find your, your homeboys, you know. <laughs> you got to find a group of creators that are going to be ride or die. But you do have to network, and you have to have enough connections that you can get done what you need to get done. If you're a writer, you're going to need to know some other writers and get some information on what they're doing writing-wise uh, in order to make it happen. Uh, you, you're probably going to need to know some artists, certainly. Not just because artists can do work for you, but because artists are going to refer you to artists. That's probably the number one question that comes from new writers is, how do I find an artist? So that that's a big hurdle. You have to have a group. Uh, you have to have people that you know that do comic book art. And they're likely going to know other people that do comic book art. 
and that'll help you grow out. So what I, what I mean by a group is you could be like Rob Geronimo here. You could be like him and have only one name on the book, your own name, Rob Geronimo, and do that whole thing yourself. You could do that. Absolutely. But to really make it in comics and be successful, are you going to be able to do that uh, by yourself? And I really don't think so. I think that you need a group. So the second question there then is, well, I've seen so many, you know, we're talking about Vidaiola and I mean, some of the serious weird stuff uh, that the people links people will go to, to uh, try and uh, be on her good side. And um, it's, uh, it's kind of silly. It's like really silly. So why would you go out of your way um, to try and, uh, be silly in public, I guess, uh, or anywhere be silly. Like, can't you just do your own thing? Um, I think you can be in a healthy group and I think that should be a more, more important thing. So finding people you can network with, that's awesome. And if you can find not, not if you can find, there are a lot of really cool people that work in comics. There should never be a problem in comics with networking with good people that are going to uh, help you in ways, you know, with networking and so forth, questions you might have, they're going to help you with that kind of stuff and they're not going to hurt you, you know, or make you be some kind of uh, whatever, you know, you got to go on Twitter and constantly profess your love for everything it is that uh, they've written. Like, <laughs> yeah, constantly. Um, I don't think you need to do that, uh, but you need a group. Anyway, thanks for uh, listening. I hope that makes sense. And uh, <laughs> it's really just thought piece kind of uh, video here. I have more fulfillment to do. Really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.